What's up guys, Justin DX here and today we are going to review the DX1000 driver and DX1000 jacker. So guys, sorry kung ngayon lang ako nakapag-upload. So uh, busy kasi. So ganun. Again, look at the glorious the glorious Henshin device of Thouser and of course his sidearm weapon. So since they're basically in a set, we're going to review it at the same time. First of all, we're going to move this aside. Focusing enough, we are go we are going to focus on the Thousand Driver. So the Thousand Driver is the main henshin belt of Kaminari Thousand or Amatsugai. So when I first saw the henshin belt, it quickly reminded me of the Beast Driver, but in a cool way. So this is what. So the belt itself is casted on on basically grey plastic with a little bit of purple, gold and of course a black cover. So this this belt actually looks really cool because it actually looks like a satellite. Yes, if some hindi na gets, this actually is based on a satellite. And you will see here the textures that actually that appeared on the assault the, uh, on the assault trigger. Or the assault grip. So, so to turn on the belt, we're going to push. Turn on the belt. All right. So the belt is actually on. So unlike zero one or the hidden zero one driver, this thing uses two keys. One is a Zetsumarai key. So it's this. By the way, the Zesimarai's key is basically just a solid plastic. It won't open. It's a basically a dummy. A dummy. All of the electronics in the key keys are in this, which is the amazing Caucasus. This actually looks like a Paragrise key version of Kamari Caucasus in Kabuto. So, eh. it's, a be it's basically a, a Hercules beater, I think. Oh uh, no, it's not a Hercules Beetle, it's a Caucasus, I think. Yeah, it's Caucasus. So, turning on, turning it on. So, unlike the other progress keys, this opens automatically. And also, automatically, uh, it doesn't need any, any authorization, but it can still do it. So, since we open it, We'll start with the engine. So to transform, you need to insert this one first. Then push it inside. Henshin! Alright, so now it looks like an actual satellite. So to initiate the finisher, let's press it again. Just like the zero one driver, it will cycle in rainbow colors. Alright. Basically, we're done for the driver itself but this thing can actually can and can actually use different progress keys but I'm not going to review that because again oh there's one more feature in this book then we're gonna initiate the transformation again because I messed up Alright, if you do it again without without taking out the Arsena key, you can initiate a Henshin or another version, but its activation will be different. So 
So it said break rise. So if you use a normal progress key in this belt, it will just say progress. So I'm not going to demo that. For a facade, we now get to his sidearm, which is the Deluxe Thousand Jacker. So first impression, this thing is stubby. Like literally, what the hell is this? This is a poke stick. <laughs> well, it's a glorified poke stick. So this is supposed to be a, based off a lens, and of course, this is the co the and the horn of the Caucasus beetle is still here. So this thing is actually different from other pro other toys because it doesn't have an on and off switch. It's automatically on when you actually take off the tab here, which is the battery tab. So to initiate uh, sounds, you just press it. Okay, so basically there's a lot of different attacks in this weapon. So the first off, we're gonna start with Jack Rise. All right, so we see that the center piece is now purple, like in the show. Then we're gonna press it. Uh, and I'll say Saya Enterprise. Now, if you in, now we're going to get this the progress key because we will need this. Now, if you put the progress key, this is the finisher. Press the button. It'll say hacking break. Now, if you basically pull the progress key out and put it again, and we're gonna pull the tab, it'll say thousand rise. Then push the button. There is Thousand's basically his ultimate finisher using the, the Thousand Tracker. So with that, we are done with the review. So let's have a little bit of sentimental moments. So this belt set was basically priced about uh, 35 yen. I got this at that price. Also, the sword. This is actually one six hundred, sixteen hundred yen, and this is three, three five, uh, thirty five hundred yen. So very cheap for me. For me, by that time I got this. This set I got this right after it was released. Uh, even though my cousin actually bought this for me, it was still a really cool gesture to even actually buy me this. At first, I was not basically going to pick this set up because a tie was expensive but hey my cousin did it so shout out to my cousin kyle gomez and thank you for for letting me acquire this glorified tension belt and weapon so again this is justin dx and remember we are remember just buy dx don't buy Scott. Don't buy non DX because you're not really gonna enjoy it. Again, just buy DX and goodbye.